Commenting on the recent instances of violent crime, Prime Minister Rowley questioned the thought processes of the perpetrators of such crime, summarizing that this country has serious social difficulties. He noted that interventions are in place, which he lamented may not be enough. I can't recall a period of time, a matter of weeks, seeing the viciousness of crime, frequency of crime, in and among family members, out on the street. I mean, it is just a while ago I made a comment that we are a violent society. And apparently there are some people who are attempting to prove that statement. Whew. The Prime Minister admitted that more will be done on a continual basis to tackle the increasing crime situation. He noted that all persons involved in criminal situations will be dealt with. If you know your family members have illegal guns, you're not getting a pass from me. If you know your, your friends on the block that you spend the day with, not looking for a job but planning the next crime, you're not getting a pass. If you know an elderly person getting a pension and living their days quietly and comfortably in a house, and you know who broke in that house and killed that old woman, you're not getting a pass. Eh? So at my book, nobody gets a pass in this country. This comes on the heels of increased reports of violent crimes, most ending in death over the last few weeks. Minister of National Security Fitzgerald Hines, Acting Commissioner of Police MacDonald Jacob, and various agencies responsible for national security and crime fighting have committed to addressing the situation and providing a solution. Ayana Carter, TTT News.